These two machines are both Victor VV50 portable phonographs. The VV50 was Victor's first portable model. It went through two iterations. The one on the left is the earlier version, the one on the right is the later one. They are very, very similar in many ways. Same type of turntable, same type of tone arm, same Victor number two reproducer. But beyond that, everything else is just a little bit different. If we look at the first machine, you'll notice it's kind of plain. There's storage in the lid for the crank. The tone arm support is the old, old style that uses a back bracket for support. The turntable actually has a hold down, which is to say there is a screw on uh, gadget here that holds the turntable in place so that when you close the lid and carry the machine, the turntable doesn't go all over the place. You'll also notice that the crank escutcheon is in the front on this machine. Comparing that to the one on the right, you'll notice that the crank escutcheon is no longer on the front, it's actually on the side. There's a very slightly different motor in the newer version, uh, but they do the same job. You'll also notice that the tone arm no longer needs the support bracket, it's now self-supporting. The turntable has also lost the screw down, uh, and you'll see why in a second. If you look up in the lid, you'll see that there's a couple of things that weren't there before. First of all, at the bottom of the lid, there is a needle cup. It has two pockets, so you can either put two types of needles or use one for new needles and one for used needles. Uh, the crank is slightly longer because of the slightly different motor, but otherwise it's identical. The bracket up there in the center of the lid has two purposes. Number one, because the turntable no longer has a screw down, this bracket will hold the turntable in place when you're moving the machine. However, the bracket has a spring function to it as well. If you look again at the spindle on the newer model, it may be hard to tell at this angle, but it's actually significantly longer than average. The idea is that you can take four or five 78s, all 10 inch size of course, and put them on the turntable, and when you close the lid, that little bracket will hold everything in place, the 78s and the turntable. You know, there is no accommodation for record storage of any kind in the earlier version of the machine. This is just to give you an overview then of the differences between the two machines. I personally like the later machine a little bit more because of the needle cups and the needle uh, and the uh, record holder. Um, both are interesting and fun to have and also be aware though that while these are considered to be portable machines they are actually fairly heavy. They weigh somewhere in the 25 pound range and that's without any records. Hope you've enjoyed.